princesses welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be talking about top protective styles to grow your hair yes guys protective styles you can use to actually retain length and to have long and healthy hair to promote the health of your hair so if you are interested in this video then just keep on watching and if you want to see more videos like this from me in the future make sure to hit that lovely subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so you will never miss another upload i hope you enjoyed this video and now without further ado let's get right into this video In one of my previous videos that protective styles are my lifesavers they are actually the number one secret like my main secret to my long and healthy hair so the reason why i was able to retain length all these years protective styling it's a way of minimalism yeah it prevents you or it reduces the chances of you touching your hair every day manipulating it every day you know moisturizing every day combing every day styling every day which could cause repeated trauma on the hair strands and lead to hair breakage so protective styling just like the name implies are protective styles you can make for your on your hair to protect your hair from other daily manipulations so there are tons of protective styles and there are styles people think are protective which are not so protective the top protective styles include things like box braids, wigs, weaves, crochet, sew-ins, yeah, bonds, yeah so of all these protective styles they have their own limitations and advantages so for for box break like as you can see i'm on box breaks right now i've had this protective style for about four months yeah four months hey i still keep my stuff clean and i actually made a video on that which i'll link down in the description box below if you're interested i'll leave the link here somewhere here or here so make sure to check it out so yeah, sports braids are actually a very excellent way of growing your hair. They are great for protective styles. One reason why I love box braids is that while on box braid it's very easy for you to clean your scalp because your scalp is open, you have direct access to your scalp. It's very easy for you to moisturize and seal your hair compared to when you are on a sew-in. So I then I personally love box braids because of that and for me personally for me I find it easier to take down box braids than when I have sew-ins because the hair it's already sectioned so taking it down the can really need to be a lot easier compared to when it's a sew-in at least for me so the limitations of box braids is that your hair is actually kind of exposed especially when you are the type of person that does not sleep or satin bonnets or use satin pillowcases your hair is exposed your hair is still exposed to the environment so it's not really completely covered this is a form of friction yeah especially when you sleep or cutting pillowcases your hair is still exposed to environmental factors like sunlight the wind weather and things like that but you can reduce the effects of this by always wearing a satin bonnet when going to bed or sleeping on satin pillowcases and even though you live in a very hot um climate or you live in a tropic region when you know that the environment has a drying effect on your hair then you have to step up your moisturizing and sealing game this way even if your hair gets exposed and it gets dried at least you have a way of coping that effect you moisturize and seal it and you reduce the effect of the environment on your hair so my next go to protective styles are sew-ins yeah i actually love sew-ins too and one of the reasons i love sew-ins is the fact that your hair is not exposed yeah so you it does not get exposed to environmental factors like sunlight the wind the drying effect and all that 
plus even when you don't sleep on certain pillowcases there is no direct contact between your hair and the pillow so the effect or the drying effect of the pillow and the friction is kind of reduced compared to box braids one of the limitations of sew-ins for me is the fact that i find it hard to moisturize and see my hair when i'm on sew-ins compared to when i'm on box braids and it's actually more difficult for me to clean my scalp and have access to my scalp when i'm on sew-ins compared to when i'm on box braids but outside that they are excellent protective styles for my present routine i usually leave my sew-ins in for up to three months and whenever i take them down i notice a lot of length retention so guys this is an excellent protective style same with the box braids box braids are excellent protective styles too it depends on your hair so some people hair like so in some like box braids. Some people say when they have box braids, their edges kind of rips up. So for these people, for example, people that have fine hair, when you are making box braids, make sure that the extensions you add to your hair are not too much compared to the hair you attach it to. If not, the weight of the extension will put on your hair and your edges will start coming up. So guys, my next go-to protective styles are weaves, just like box braids and so in weaves are also excellent protective styles but it has some limitations and it also has benefits and for the limitation just like the box braids your hair is actually still exposed you know so your hair is your hair can dry up your hair can still get friction because your hair is exposed to the environment and things like that or you can curb it just like in in box braids by using satin by moisturizing and sealing your hair then the benefits you have access to your scalp you can clean and moisturize your scalp it's very easy to do that you can clean your scalp you can moisturize and see your hair it's very easy to do that when the hair is exposed compared to when it's a sewing so guys another excellent protective style are wigs actually wigs are very excellent like they are so lovely in fact they have tons of benefits first of all you can rock on any wig you like yes any style you want at all you can rock it on as long as your hair is protected underneath your wigs wigs actually has tons of benefits you actually have direct access to your, to your hair in the night you can take off your wig moisturize your hair clean your scalp you can even do your normal routine like your weekly watches and deep conditioning and all that and still have your hair protected with less manipulation so guys wigs are actually excellent plus you have the benefit of choosing from any style you want you know using one today using another one tomorrow using another one the third day you know just different styles plus you have access to your hair you can see moisturize and see your hair you can still carry out your normal daily routine your normal weekly routine plus the benefit that your hair is protected even with all those routines so guys wigs are actually excellent um for me i think the only limitations of wigs for me were the fact that they were, they were kind of uncomfortable considering the fact that i live in a hot region like the weather is hot so putting a wig on is kind of uncomfortable so i don't really use wigs that much but as for that they are excellent protective styles so the last on my list is crochet crochet are actually excellent protective styles but for me personally i didn't really like them like they didn't really go well with my hair i did crochet i think i've done crochet about three times and i noticed that whenever i do them i really get a lot of shed hair after taking down the protective style so considering the fact that when the hairstylist is installing the crochet i usually hear some like you know snappy sound and all that during the installation process so considering all those parts i decided to reduce my use of crochet as a protective style but after that they are excellent protective styles yeah you can still have access to your scalp because the fact that your hair is covered there yeah, is no direct relationship or direct contact between your hair and the environment between your hair and and things like that uh, another thing is that maybe the reason why I was having shed hair for my crochet was that the crochet I used was actually kind of heavy 
heavy with it so that could also be a reason so i don't know i have not tried a lightweight crochet maybe when i do i'll come back and give you feedback on that another excellent protective style is burning burning your own hair burning your natural hair burning your relaxed hair these are actually excellent protective style because your ends which are the most fragile parts of your hair are actually tucked away and protected guys when it comes to retaining length your ends are the most important because if you can retain the ends of your hair if your ends are held and your ends are not breaking then your hair will be longer because you are retaining length your ends are healthy they will not be breaking so bonds are actually very excellent protective styles when it comes to this and with bonds you can do your normal routines take it down in the night do your moisturizing and sealing and um, do your normal weekly routine like you still have access to the hair so yeah guys those are my go-to protective styles i would like to know which of these protective styles have worked for you so make sure to leave a comment down below in the comment section which of these protective styles have worked for you or which one you are currently wearing right now as you are watching this video and if there's any other protective style that has worked for you that i did not mention in this video be sure to also include that in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching my prince and princesses i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that lovely notification bell so you will never miss another upload Thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye!